You silly boy. You silly boy. Early in his Steelers career, Rod Woodson met Nikki Thede. You know, she asked me, do you work? I'm like, yeah, sure, I work. What do you do? I'm like, I work. I'm thinking he's jobless or maybe doing drugs or something because he didn't want to tell me. <laughs> um, so he, he didn't tell me. I, I'm not a person to say, oh, I play in the National Football League. You want to date me? They dated, and the relationship grew serious. So with Rod's family, I was welcomed with open arms. It was not a problem at all. My family, on the other hand, my dad loved Rod, but didn't like that we were together. Saw her grandmother, grandmother walked right by us. Wouldn't even say anything. You know, meet her mom and dad. Mom and dad don't even want to talk to me. I mean, that's how it was. And I've been around him my whole life. It taught me a lot. It taught me about even your family members can be racist. You know, my mother, uh, you know, her dad wasn't happy that she married a person of color and didn't, but my dad's side of the family, you know, his mother was from the South and didn't like that he married a, a woman from the North. So that kind of opened the eyes of, like, other racism. Building a relationship with Nikki's family would be difficult. Woodson's football life was also in transition, as the Steelers introduced a new head coach, Bill Cower. It's all the way he played the game when I was on the other side of the field. DeBerg throwing again to the sideline and is picked off over there by Woodson. And when you were with him and you saw his preparation and how he prepared for each Sunday, it gave you a great appreciation for who Rod Woodson really is as a player, as a person, and he's really as a guy who's very much one of the best leaders that I was ever around. In his first game under Cower, Woodson intercepted two passes. In his second, he had a sack, a forced fumble, and a blocked field goal. This was a guy that was a playmaker. Needs one more block. Hurdles. <laughs> Ouch! Oh! Look at the blood on his nose. Woodson was at his best, bludgeoning opposing offenses. He would had a way of running off the field, running right past me. We need a blitz more, coach. We're not getting there with our prior four-man rush. Like, got you, got you, Rod. <laughs> Well, he was our nickel and nickel defense, who was the inside slot corner. His physicality was instrumental in a lot of the things we did there. Being able to turn the football over was just so critical. Well, was cover his guy like a blanket. One of the receivers he blanketed was Bengals star wide out Carl Pickens. I couldn't beat this guy one-on-one. -on -one. What are you gonna do? You gotta find that competitive edge somewhere. In a 1993 game won by the Steelers, Woodson held Pickens to just two catches, and near the end, the players exchanged words. He yells at one of his teammates, you know, tell Pickens to take that blanket off of him. I just yelled, I said, hey, get your jungle fever ass back in that huddle. And I was like, what did you just say? And that's the old Spike Lee movie, you know, white girls with a black guy. Say, you better leave those white girls alone, just like that. He said it again, and I like, I don't even remember everything I did. That really set him off. And then uh, I was like, oh, boy. He's talking about my wife. That's a line he crossed that he can't cross, and I'm letting him know he can't cross it. Sure enough, you know, I'm running back on the field after him. Since then, he has reached out to me. So that's kind of nice, but it's, you know, you can talk about the player that you're playing against, but you can never bring family or kids into it in any, or any form or fashion. I would just like to say I'm sorry. I didn't really know Rod's background. Um, I was young, I was dumb, I was ignorant, and it was, um, 
a huge mistake. I mean, huge. It's definitely a learning lesson. The all-pro corner who could do it all had a truce with Pickens, but the relationship he most wanted to build was with Nikki's family. For me, it was a bigger picture thing. It's like, how can we show them that people of color are just like them? You do it with love. And it worked. <laughs>